Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Right Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So it has been a few days since we played, so hopefully I haven't forgotten all of the controls. Uh, but we have Connor out here. Is he butchering all this? Yeah. Yeah, he's butchering all this. And then Laura is doing the observation. So we can uh, learn about these things. I still haven't bought those things. Really? Yeah. I saw that you had some flying ones that you're fighting. Yeah, I've had a couple of swarms attack me. Are those ones a pain in the butt? Yeah, they are just because they fly. Like, your defenses don't really mean anything. Yeah, they just fly right over them. Mm-hmm. So Jinx is really far at this point, guys. She's like year, almost year three, right? I'm... I just started spring of year three. Okay, yeah, so she is in year three. Uh, so this is the Shriekers. You can tame them? Yeah, I think you have to pacify them first. Oh. Okay, how do you pass? Oh, is that with the gun or whatever? Yeah, with that crossbow thing. So it's like a weapon that puts them to sleep instead of kills them. Mm hmm Okay, I see. All right, so... I haven't used that. <laughs> <laughs> So Jinx is three years in. There's all kinds of stuff she hasn't hasn't done yet. Well, I haven't bothered because there's a bunch of those nests for those around, but they're mm -hmm. far away, so I don't... I'm like, eh, I just won't go over there. <laughs> Why is Daisy trying to leave? She doesn't like it here anymore. She says it's not safe. It's the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> what are you doing? I've never seen them try to leave like uh, leave like this before. She'll come back. Maybe. She will. That's where her bed is. Okay. I mean, I'm just worried she's going to get attacked or something out there. I mean, maybe. Do you have those bird things around? Yeah, they're over here in the woods. Maybe she wants to die. She's like, it's too cold. It's just, you know, I don't want her wandering out there <laughs> like, you know, she's pregnant. And the last pregnant cow we had didn't make it. Poor Bruno, he can't he can't lose another one. Uh, so we see that our grains are about to rot away. Okay, so I suppose that's not surprising. Some of that's pretty old. I was hoping it would like freeze out here. It should eventually. It might not be cold enough. It's only thirty four degrees. Yeah. I mean, we like just entered winter. So yeah, perhaps it's not cold enough yet. Uh, so we actually have, uh, now that we put Quinn in those boots, say so he's got a new pair of boots on. So we actually have some some clothes, I think, that need to be tore up. Oops. Those old shoes. Yeah. So let's, let's dismantle anything that you know needs to be. Uh, it looks like just the boots in here, but I could have swore there was something else, but I assume it's somewhere else. Maybe over here somewhere. Not there. We got those electronics. Those are going to be important. Also, this has been constructed. So we want to take a look at that. Uh, because, yeah, we did get the, the solar panels, guys. Yeah, I could have swore there was something else. And the clothes that needed to be taken apart. Maybe you did it already. Yeah, maybe I already scheduled them to do that. I probably did. Maybe I did that before we got off last time. Uh, so this is the extractor. It processes the grain into vegetable oil. Um, so, how do we how do we uh, use this? You just click on that, and it should give you the recipe. Oh, okay. So, how much should we do? Um, we use Probably it for a, bread. So, I usually do like until like ten. Yeah, I probably should do it until. That'd be wise. So we'd want to set it up to until ten. There we go. And then if you find you need more, you can always change it. Mm-hmm. All right, so somebody will get to work on that. Oh, didn't realize we were still paused there. Start using that grain before it goes bad. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, that they'll prioritize the older grain. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, though. They'll be <laughs> like, ooh, this is yucky. Mm-hmm. All right, so Connor's transporting. Is that the bug meat? Yeah. And we don't have the tech yet for that, right? No, I don't think so. What is she currently working on? Energy storage. We're doing all this stuff for energy. I don't know if we'll have enough electronics to do everything we want to do with that. 
Uh, we could go ahead and start setting up s solar panels once we get the batteries. At least we could start storing the energy. Quinn's talking shit. What? Oh, uh, he claimed better, better darts. darts than Krista. I mean, they're all like amazing at darts because they stand up super <laughs> close. <laughs> Like ridiculously Wait, close. are they even playing darts or are they just like sticking it, poking it in the wall? So this is the, the food that's about to go bad. It's the food that's oh, sitting here. Yeah, that makes sense. So do we have to clean that out at all? Or? I, I think the animals will eat almost bad food. Yeah, they'll they? eat almost bad food. So yeah, I suppose it's fine. Hopefully the animal doesn't get sick though eating this. Do I need to like... I haven't had anybody die. Let's take a look here. Not from that, anyway. So where's the stuff that's about to go bad here? Right there. The 20%? Yeah. But we can't clear it out or anything? Maybe it's not bad enough yet? Yeah, maybe you could, but I... I there's no option for it. it. There's no, uh... <laughs> there's nothing here. Well, I'm, I'm saying because we already lost a, a cow. And so I'm trying to keep these cows alive, Jinx. I guess. <laughs> it definitely looks snowier out there. Even though the temperature hasn't actually dropped yet, we're still at 30s. So let's we'll see if it gets colder. Uh, do we have enough heat inside? Oh, it's cozy in here. Yeah, it's nice and toasty. Yeah, how are the rooms doing? They're a little bit colder, but they'll be alright. They got blankets <laughs> that they don't use, so they can't be that cold. <laughs> I noticed that you, you know, we had the the heater set up outside of your room. Yeah, <laughs> I get cold. Jinx wanted it there. I will die. My toes will fall off. Jinx is not uh, not one who does well in the cold, guys. No. In the winter, I'm a walking marshmallow. Hmm. I Some, was like... <laughs> something's going on with the cooking, man. Krista startled me. I was like, why in the hell is she laying on the floor like that? Yeah, something's going on with the cooking. Nobody's cooking anything. Do you have anybody set as a priority? Yeah. I don't think that's why. I'm, I'm wondering if we don't have... Hmm. We got the grain porridge, so that has the resources, as does the veggie stew. Connor's the main cook. Maybe we need to take a look at our assignments here, because clearly somebody needs to be cooking. There's no food available at this time. Um, so currently we have... Where's the cooking? Yeah, Connor's at one... Laura's three, and then we got a two for Krista. Hmm. I feel like the priorities are fine. Yeah, they're fine. They're just not, uh, they're just not cooking. Well, Connor went to sleep. Yeah, everybody's sleeping. We got that bug meat in here. Mmm. That looks delicious. <laughs> Raw insect meat. Uh, Connor reached cooking five. We were just talking about his cooking. So he's becoming a hell of a chef. I'm sure here. he'll start cooking once he gets up. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, everybody's sleeping currently, so. So how many people do you currently have? I have the five still. Why is Krista just hanging out in Quinn's room? Creepy. It feels like she's jelly because she doesn't have a room, but she just started to sleep. Yeah. All right, so she has the energy storage researched. We could go ahead and get something else set up here. So you got like the battery optimization. Suppose we could do the fridges. I don't know what else we might want to use our electricity for. Jinx says she does, she mostly uses it for lights. <laughs> yeah, because it's nice. Yeah, yeah. And it also, like, it's not just for aesthetics. Like, the people have to go around refueling all the torches. Yeah, yeah so it takes time. Mm -hmm. Time that they could better use doing something else. Like playing musical instruments. Mm -hmm. I just got musical instruments. Really? <laughs> yeah. I haven't made any. Three though. three years in. Yeah. People have no music in their lives. No, they don't. I guess we'll have that get researched. They have like a didgeridoo <laughs> <laughs> and something else like a tin drum or something. Toxic ash. Oh, so isn't this one that yucky. you've gotten here? Yeah. So it causes uncomfortable shortness of breath and reduces movement speed. Prolonged exposure could cause blood poisoning. Solar panels supply less power. Okay, so that's great. Plants grow slower. Kind of irrelevant because we're in the winter. 
And farm plants lose health and harvest. I see. Yeah. It sucks. So should I just like keep them all inside or something? I mean, they will get sick. They'll at least move slower and bitch about not being able to breathe. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know what they would do inside. I mean, there's like still got work to do. There's crafting and stuff. I mean, there's some stuff for them to do. I mean, they could be. I mean, obviously, only one person crafts. Quinn. And I suppose it sucks they gotta constantly go outside <laughs> for our supplies. Our supplies cooking. are out here. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and have somebody equip that bow that he just made. Because, yeah, we had the crossbows. But yeah, I don't think that they're as good. And she needs something, period. She doesn't even have a weapon. So let's give her the short bow. I suppose that makes sense. Since she doesn't have one. Although that just result in her just dropping that on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> I love how if you assign them a new weapon, that's that's what they do. Just like, oh, I'm just going to throw this on the ground. Yeah. And I'll put it where it goes. I prefer they all be inside. Let's see. Yeah, we've got the crafting going here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's not much for them to do besides cook and craft. And even that requires them to go outside to go get the supplies. Ooh, it's getting murky out. Yeah, it's crappy outside. Oh, looks like there's a fight over here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these two were fighting. They're just having a heated debate. Mm -hmm. Like which grass tastes better. So Jinx got a bunch of dogs. Like a whole pack of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Connor's throwing up again. I found one dog. I was like, oh my God, it's a dog. And then there's like three other dogs. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I Jinx took them all home. <laughs> tamed three dogs. And you also trained them, right? Yeah. I just now, I think, got them trained up to where I can take control of them in the fights. When you draft them? Yeah. I'm still looking for more dogs here, guys. It was messed up, though, because I had the three dogs, and mm -hmm. then I had a, I have a puppy now, and they're smallish and adorable, but then the mama dog died after she had mm -hmm. the puppy, and I couldn't, like, bury the dog in the grave, so I had to eat it. <laughs> or else you just left it there to rot. Yeah. Like, what the choice do you have? It just felt so wrong, like, butchering it. I'm like, this is my dog. Yeah, Jinx was not happy about it. Quite upset. Look at all these snowmen that are everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> like all are they all like. Quinn's? Because it's his favorite thing to do. I don't think I've even seen Quinn do a snowman. I think they might be all the Embers. <laughs> Embers and Connors. They seem to really like making the snowmen. Yeah, Ember seems to play a lot of games. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think of what we could have Laura do. Speaking of which, she just played a prank on Connor. Oh really? <laughs> Where do you see that? Played a oh, funny Quinn prank. played a prank on Connor. So Quinn's He's the, feeling feisty. the prankster. I guess we're going to have Laura go out. Because Chris has taken over your job as researcher, so... We don't need you to do that anymore, Jinx. Well, that's not nice. So, we have the Explorer and the Cruise Ship Debris. I'd explore. Do we need uh, the materials from that? Scrap metal? And what else do we get? Do we get anything else from that? You might. Is it not good enough to go for? I mean, I don't know. They're, those pop up all the time. Mm. You can find electronics sometimes. I see. Explore, like, you know, opens up more places you can go. All right. Jinx just doesn't want to have to go after the cruise ship debris. That's what it is. You don't <laughs> want to carry that crap back. You'll get out of here, so you won't be in the, the ash. Although I imagine it'll still it'd be, be ashy, I'm sure. Well, it's not affecting you. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be affecting y'all. So Connor's cooking things up here. Yeah, because we need a lot of food right now. But it seems like as soon as he cooks it, it gets eaten, like, immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the moment he cooks it, it gets eaten. I mean, we're still good on, you know, I mean, obviously we have tons of grain. Yeah, stupid amounts of grain, guys. Exploration is complete. Let's get rid of this. Uh, we don't have enough storage for our wood. Okay, it's fine. 
So I see, or did you want to read this since it's you? I see spaceship debris with particular protruding shapes. I think that it may be the crash site of a military ship. Those extra bumps here and there look like cannons. We should go there immediately. Sounds like there should be guns there, right? I mean, you would think so. All right, so that's already been completed. Searching the remains of the military ship for useful things is a bit tricky. The whole thing is very corroded and falling apart easily. Still, I found one of the ship's many armories and pulled out a functioning high-tech weapon. Nice. Wonderful. So Jinx will bring that home to us. And we'll see what it is. So how are our people doing right now? Let's just go through here and take a look. I guess this is Laura we won't look at. We'll start with Connor here. See how his uh, happiness is? He's so it's dark. Right. He was annoyed by Quinn. <laughs> he made a snowman, though. Yeah. Like I said, I think he makes a lot of these snowmen. Uh, Ember has lost all her snowman bonuses. <laughs> so it's been a while since she made one. Uh, Laura bonded with Daisy, though. Uh, let's go and take a look at that gun that we got. So it is a laser pistol. Oh. Okay. It's not high tech. I mean, it's a laser it's pistol, fine. Jinx. And so that's what Ember has. So let's give that... Who's the, the best at combat after Connor and Ember? Probably Quinn. Maybe. Because I mean, none of them are all that impressive. So Laura's a zero. Quinn is not just a um. zero, he's indifferent, so he hates doing the combat. All you guys suck. Everybody sucks. <laughs> and then I never let them do it, so they have no experience with it either. Give me the gun. We'll give Jinx the gun. I will shoot stuff. Then we'll give that to Jinx. And then we're still waiting for some stuff to get crafted here. Let's take a look. So the, the short bow, we'll allow that to be finished up, I suppose. And then we're still waiting on the fur cap and the sweaters. We do have the stuff for that. Just Quinn's been busy with other stuff. He really needs to prioritize that crafting. And poor Krista. Sleeping <laughs> on the ground over here. Although again, she doesn't really seem to mind sleeping out here because of the big bed bonus. Yeah. I slept in a spacious bedroom. But it's the, the disturbed sleep that's kind of kicking her butt here. Yeah, people keep opening the door. And so when you get the the disturbed sleep, that brings it down to what she'd get for the private bedroom anyways. I don't know, I'm just kind of fine with her yeah. <laughs> sleeping out there. Yeah, I don't really so much mind that she's sleeping out there. Man, I had to expand my house and make it bigger, and that was kind of a pain in the ass. What was that? Just, like, trying to move everything and... You know, rebuilding and destroying mm -hmm. is just kind of a pain. But I did it. So I don't know if these these probably weren't harvested. They are just destroyed, whatever was out there. Because I know there was crops out there, but... So I don't know if uh, the toxic ash is what destroyed it. I don't think so. I think it was probably just the winter. Laura said, I think the moon boats something good. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> <laughs> And Connor's at a risk of meltdown. Why? Just because he's been having to cook so much? He just doesn't have very many positives here, apparently. That's just how he is. Yeah. Maybe he'll feel happy after eating some pie. He's a depressed type. You know, we also don't have meals still, guys. We're just not getting the meals crafted fast enough. Like, that immediately after they're made, they get eaten. Well, yeah, and he's got to go so far to get the resources. Like, it's yeah. not really efficient. What I should probably do is just stop the food from being held out here. But, hmm, there's not enough space inside. But maybe they'll move some of it. Yeah, like, you could set, like, the stuff that you want to prioritize cooking. Like, the mm -hmm. ingredients for that, you could prioritize moving that to the kitchen yeah like yeah you've got bug meat in the kitchen yeah, i mean that's what they put there so 
I just don't want to have to like manage it yeah. by each individual thing, though, man. Like this, just too much. That's what I do. So, what do you make with the bug meat? I don't use any like food for the bug meat. I just use that for making like fuel and stuff. But you can though. Somebody told me that it doesn't. There's no difference. I and, mean, like, you can. Any meat is meat. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, just like any leather is leather. Like it's yeah. your vegetarian option. <laughs> Even though it's it's bugs. <laughs> it's not a vegetarian option. <laughs> You're talking about it's bugs. It's meat. Yeah, but you know, they don't see bugs as as creatures. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think they want to eat the bugs either, vegetarians. You know, guys, I just don't want to manage it by each item. I just, I just don't want to do that. This is too much. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this off so that this is not, like, allowed for food anymore. And then this can be made use for something else eventually. Uh, in fact, hmm, I might want to do this here. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then what we'll do is have this used for something else. Like, uh, what is it that we're short for? We need, like, uh, wood storage and stuff like that. Yeah, that's all over there. Uh, we could always just make more of that. I don't know where he'd put it. Just make some more piles somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I suppose what we could do is like... Let's go into our storage real quick. I guess we can keep that plain. Uh, go into our storage here and stockpile. And just create some stockpiles over here. In my house, I have a little decorative shelf for, like, the syrups and the spices. <laughs> really? Yeah, the spice rack. I mean, Jinx is, you know, obviously, she's three years in. She's been playing the hell out of this game. But you said that you're getting close to being done, right? Yeah. Like, if I don't find another person soon, like, I had read that you can only have a max of eight anyway, but I've been mm -hmm. stuck at the five for a really long time. And there have been a lot of events where you could possibly find another person uh -huh. and I just haven't I just feel like I'm not really like I don't know I'm going through the motions like building things that I want to build and all that but I'm kind of almost done with it yeah yeah and we'll talk about this in a, a later episode just some some criticisms of the game since we've been mostly pretty positive about the game so far I do still love the game and things that we really like about it and I would, would probably come back, I'll probably come back to it and start another playthrough and do things differently. You know? Well, especially as I do like updates and that kind of stuff. You mm -hmm. know? Glad they sit in the chair. You get to sign an owner. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Only one person like, can use this chair. This is my chair, chair damn it. <laughs> All right, so everybody's going to sleep here. But yeah, you just we just can't get the food made quick enough. There's at least two butter, uh, buttermelon pies here, but... For the most part, we're just not able to get the food made quick enough. I think Ember might have just got some buttermelon pie. Maybe not. I was gonna say she'd be pretty happy about that. But yeah, that's a, a problem here. We have plenty of uh, the raw ingredients, but it's just not being cooked quick enough. Is that just sitting on the ground? Yeah. Nice. Is it because this has got all filled up when I moved all that stuff? Um, it looks like they didn't finish cooking it. Like they were gonna make pie. Mm-hmm. And then just decided they were too sleepy. So we're going to move the emergency rations off. Although, there's no way for this to go. So I can just put this. This can just be emergency rations. <laughs> we'll put emergency rations there. <laughs> That's fine. Now, we have no cue to research. Uh, I guess we can start working on... Now that it's not like crappy outside anymore. Uh, we can go and start working on the power stuff. The solar panels and stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So where do we want to put these? I don't remember where our good... Uh, one thing I want to do is, you know, once the, the spring happens, once we get to spring, is change up our farming system. Because, you know, we just have the one big field for the one crop. And uh, we need to have, like, multiple crops. So mm -hmm. smaller fields and multiple crops is what I want to do. Uh, but that's over here. I don't remember what the ground looks like. We can always check, I suppose. Just see where that ground is. So yeah, this is all 100% here. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's all 100% as well. I guess a snowman kind of marked the area. A little bit, yeah. 
But basically, my, my point here is is that we don't want to put anything over here, essentially. Uh, so we need to look at that. Uh, so this is what we'll do. We will put the solar panels over here. That really makes sense. We don't want it to be like too far away where you gotta, you know, bring the the power really far. Mm-hmm. I'll face this way. So we'll just do one for now. So we'll get that constructed, and then when we're done with that, we'll get the batteries and all that kind of good stuff as well. Let's do one thing at a time here. Looks like Krista's doing the construction, or at least the transportation yeah, of that. She's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna build anything. I'm not gonna build it. I'll drop stuff off." Ember's going to take care of that for us. And, yeah, we're losing more grains. That's fine. Okay, so we got our first solar panel. Uh, solar panel so that's going to produce energy for us. And uh, now we need to get... We'll get the power pole here. And, of course, we're going to do the wooden one. That makes the most sense. And there should be... Yeah, there's a little line here. And so it should connect. Uh, let's do the battery real quick. Put the battery, like, I don't know, just right behind it or whatever. That's what I do. I put the battery right there, and then I'll put, like, a solar panel on the other side, too, flanking it. Which one's the front one? I don't think it matters. All right, so put that there. And then those two will need to be connected with a pole. Well, let's let this get constructed real quick. Just like to make sure it's all being connected. Yeah, it'll reach the battery with it right there, next to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really in a hurry to get in this. We don't even need the electricity yet. We don't have any needs for it. So like, we still still got to get something constructed. I'm not sure lighting. where we're gonna put the fridge yet. True. Yeah, we don't have a lot of room for expanding here. Quinn just reached crafting seven. Good job, Quinn. Uh, also, looks like we got those weapons done. Uh, or at least the, the short boat done. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have whoever's got a crossbow still, Quinn, we'll have him equip the bow. Though I'm not really excited about him stopping what he's doing, but it's fine. So I have him equip that. He's just going to drop it on the ground. <laughs> so, I love how they do that. That's great. All right, so we'll have him take care of that for us. And then let's go ahead and get this power pole Put in place. See, so yeah, the lines are connecting there. So I believe we can just. Oh no! So it'll have to be like right here to have both of those connected. So let's do it like that. So it'll connect to any other ones we build here. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna put the the fridge at. So that would be in the. Where would that be? There's also the other stove. They'd have to get rid of this one here. Probably just, you know, destroy it and then put in the new one here. But we'd have to have a collection of food already cooked and we can't seem to get True. enough of it cooked, man. They really need to prioritize that food. Yeah, I think the, the refrigerator is in storage. Yep, here it is. You could expand that wall with the door over by one and put the refrigerator on that side. Put it where? Oh, this thing is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Wow. Okay, I didn't know it was going to be that large. I have like a whole storage room with the refrigerator and the, the shelving mm. off of the kitchen. I feel like we need to increase the size of our house. Our, yeah, it's just not big enough, the building. So what I'm thinking, we have this hallway here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were talking about putting another room in there for Krista. Uh, and then, yeah, what we could do is like... Just build something over here. It's just a bummer. Hmm. I'd like to have like a door that goes there. I suppose we could move this over to here. You know, because we're going to rebuild it anyways. Yeah. Yeah, would that fit right there? Because if that would fit... Where is that? At production? It's an electric cooking stove. Like, put it right here. Though, oh, it blocks the, damn, 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 damn. Blocks access to the shelf, unfortunately. Hmm. And yeah, you can't put it here either. All right, that's a shame. I guess we could move this over one. True. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Let's move this over one right there. So move that, and then we can put that in here. Ooh, something's rotten over here. Are the berries. That's what it looks like. That could be grains. It, no, yeah, it looks like the berries. the berries. That's definitely the berries. All right, so that's a bummer. Can we not get uh, the bush fruits cooking up real quick? <laughs> is it not <laughs> enough? It's only 70. That's yeah. what the problem is. We don't really have a use for that. Because we need a, a hundred to make the wine. So yeah, let's just get rid of that. I'll clear up some space over here. Not that we really need to, to clear the space. Looks like we're doing pretty good here uh, as of right now. Yeah, we, we need to get some more of these grains and the melon brought in over here. Maybe we could just like, cause you can't just select items and have them moved. So what we could do is just take this off just to get them to move it real quick so that it'll get brought, brought inside. And then we should have everything that we're currently cooking with over there. So that'll help. But yeah, we'll get rid of that and get this moved here. So he's done that, and then we can put the electric stove here. And then, yeah, what I'm thinking is that we're gonna extend the building, guys. So we're gonna do that. I suppose next episode, it's really not that cold, which yeah, is interesting. Not. I was led to believe that winters are gonna be much worse than they actually are. Well, they do get colder, for sure. What, like the later winters or something? Yeah, and like you do get events where you'll have like abnormal temperatures, mm -hmm. like heat waves and you know cold waves and all that, where it'll be like extreme temperatures. Uh, but yeah, we we are starting to to store uh, power now, so we at least have that happening here. Uh, so that once we get these uh, set up, we'll have have some power. Uh, but unfortunately, that is the end of today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope you see you on the next episode where it looks like we need to assign that coat. And we got a coat there, so I'll have to get that given out to somebody. And then I suppose we should break down those crossbows too, right? So yeah, we'll get that done, done as well. I'll try and make best use of our resources here. It does look like we've used the majority of our electronics though. So I don't know if we'll be able to build all this stuff that we're trying to build, if it takes electronics. Does the fridge take electronics? I think so. Let me just take a look here. No, it doesn't. Really? Just metal? Nope. Okay. Looks like it's just these. I think the battery. I think the battery ate up all the electronics. But anyways, we'll see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.